Respect, not your genuine love. Respect, Paige. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> hey, hater. Hello. Hater alert. How you doing? Hey, hey. Good to see you um, over here watching me watch me at the end of the day. But do me a favor. We don't do all that drama over here respectfully. Return back to Cinder. <laughs> and do us a favor. Save the drama for your mama. It's just that simple. Yo, no disrespect. <laughs> what's, what's wrong with people, though? Like, for real, for real. It's the thought process for me. What's wrong with people? Like, <laughs> it's really the thought process for me. Like, no disrespect. Like, I don't understand how people can walk around with, like, dry ass lips. Like, I just can't do it respectfully. But then, when you walk around with some of your fucking lips at the end of the day, somebody's still judging you. Like, I'm not understanding. They judge you when your lips is dry. They judging you because you, you got your lips moist. Like, it's the thought process of me. Why is you worried about my lips for at the end of the day? Ma'am, sir? Like, hello? But anyway, like, no disrespect, though. Like, I don't understand how people could just sit here at the end of the day and walk around with dry ass lips. Like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. These just these soups cool as gotta get uh, so moist. No disrespect. Mm -hmm. The healthy way. No disrespect. Like, put something on your lips. It's okay. Like, it's it's okay. It's not a crime. Like, put something on your lips. Like, for real, for real. Walk around with dry ass fucking lips trying to have a fucking conversation with somebody. <laughs> Yo! Like, you aren't you hurting yourself? Oh, like, I'm watching you watch you hurt yourself. Like, I don't know if I need to call 9910 on your ass. Like, do they need a paramedic on the, um, the fire department? Oh, they need a paramedics? Hello? Save their lips? Oh, shit, it's chapped. <laughs> like, yo, it be the thought process for me at the end of the day, ma'am, sir. Like, people be dead ass minding their business. And people be just saying some off the wall stuff. Like, hold on, wait, ma'am, sir. Like, are you okay? Like, that's a little weird. Like, for real, for real. It's, it's a little weird. Like, what's, what's up? <laughs> thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kylie. <laughs> Truly appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. But, take a picture next time. If it was that serious, like, make it make sense. Like, they, they, like, they see you like this. Why you got so much on your lips? <laughs> it ain't a lot. It's just enough. What do you mean? Hello? Make it make sense, ma'am, sir. Hello? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I got a gift from God. <laughs> Thank you, mama. Thank you. It came from you. Yeah. Thank you. I see you, girl. Ah. All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Yo, it's the thought process for me at the end of the day. Like, you ever been minding your business? Like, real life, minding your business, right? And like, you had to reevaluate your thought process because you got yourself confused. You ever had like two associates or people you knew that had the same name, like Camel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like Camel, you know whatever <laughs> so you get in something situated whatever the case may be and somebody asks you like hey because you're passing something to somebody like hey um can you give this to camel <laughs> and you forgot at the end of the day you have to be about what your thought process like hey it's two people with the same name but they're not twins there's just two people with the same name camel so you're telling the person to give it to camel <laughs> and the person goes camel <laughs> Hey, Camel. Hey, come here, Camel. <laughs> How you doing, Camel? It's two of them. What the fuck? What's going on? <laughs> hey, it's two of them. <laughs> Give it to Camel. They know who they are. <laughs> Can you identify which one is Camel for me, please? <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Will you reevaluate your thought process? And say you know which one is camel. And they know who's who's camel. Which one is camel. Because <laughs> they know who you talking about. Camel. <laughs> but they want to play the mind games with you at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. I see where we going with this one. Alright. You trying to cite my own thought process right? <laughs> okay camel. <laughs> Yo. Just to reevaluate your thought process at the end of the day. Oh shit. 
<laughs> they twins. Oh, shit, I forgot. <laughs> My bad. That's a different set of twins. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Uh, but I don't remember which one of you is Campbell. Which one? I don't remember. Oh, shit. They look just alike. I forgot. Oh. Sorry, friend. <laughs> love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Now you're genuine with love. Respect. I truly appreciate your time. Never allow someone to suck up your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way. Because they're miserable. Never allow someone to suck up your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way. Because they're miserable. Loving yourself is not a crime. Never allow someone to suck up your thought process when it comes to your freedom. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You matter. You are genuinely loved by all the right people. You are genuinely respected by all the right people. You deserve to be treated with respect 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or others around you. You matter. You matter, you matter, you matter. Never allow someone to psych up your thought process and allow you to believe when you start your healing process, it would never be an overnight process. Never. It would never be an overnight process. Be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. Understanding how to show up for yourself when you're healing, time is ready, when you're genuinely ready to commit to yourself, to move forward, to better days for yourself the healthy way. You tired of being sick? You tired of depression? You tired of anxiety? You tired of being overwhelmed? You are tired? You're mentally feeling like you're almost tapped out. You allowed yourself to show up today. You matter. You matter, you matter, you matter. You do. You do, you do, you do. <laughs> you do. You do. Yep. You do. I'm proud of you. I'm genuinely proud of you. I am. But never allow someone to psych you out of your thought process to allow you to believe when your healing process is supposed to start. Because can't nobody force you to do something that you don't mentally, you're not mentally ready to do. Never allow someone to mentally like try to psych out your thought process and allow you to believe like, yo, do it now. It's not gonna make sense in your book because you're not gonna show up for yourself the way you deserve to show up for yourself when it needs to be done. You're gonna be half ass you're not gonna commit to yourself the way you need to commit to yourself. Because you're gonna be entertaining things that you don't need to be entertaining, that you need to remove yourself from, that you have to reevaluate your thought process as to how do I accept this change for myself in a healthy way? What do I need to do to show up for myself in a healthy way? I'm deserving to have peace within myself. I'm deserving of it, respectfully. Everybody deserves to be at peace with themselves, the healthy way, with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards anyone, respectfully. It's okay to respect your neighbor in a healthy way. You ain't gotta like your neighbor. But the same way you want somebody to respect you, you gotta respect everybody around you. As long as you don't have malicious intentions to bring harm towards yourself or innocent people around you. Respectfully. No disrespect. No disrespect. Leave innocent people alone. Leave innocent people alone. 
Leave innocent people alone. Protect your energy. When it's time to show for yourself, when it starts that genuine process to say, hey, my healing process is it's about to really start. Yes, I really want this. I don't want this because everybody else is doing it. I want this because I genuinely want this. I'm not doing this to try to fit in. I'm doing this because I genuinely want myself to genuinely be at peace. Mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Respectfully. Like I said, this page ain't for everybody. And that's okay. It's not a crime. No disrespect. <laughs> Leave innocent people alone. Respectfully. Your life matters. Your life matters. Your life matters. Your life matters. Protect your energy. Protect your energy. <laughs> Love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself. It's okay to respect your neighbor. It's okay. It's not a crime. It's not a crime. It's okay to say, no thank you, neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. No thank you, neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. No thank you, neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. Not disrespect each other. There's no need for it. Domestic violence is real. Mental health awareness is real. It's real. Domestic violence awareness is real. Mental health Awareness is real. Hate crime is real. Hate crime is real. Stop. 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 Like for real, for real. It's nothing cute about going to jail. It's nothing cute about being a number. It's nothing cute about allowing yourself to psych yourself out of your thought process at the end of the day. It's nothing cute about psyching yourself out of your freedom at the end of the day. Nothing cute about it at all. It's nothing cute about being under a whole bunch of men all day long. <laughs> it's nothing cute about it. It's nothing cute about having to defend yourself in a box against people. Your neighbor that you're supposed to respect. But they trying to bring harm to you. And you can't defend yourself because it's too many of them, and it's only one of you. It's ain't no game, respectfully. It's nothing cute about psyching somebody out their thought process at the end of the day. It's nothing cute about it. And it's nothing attractive about you, especially when you don't have self-awareness, you're not attractive. When you genuinely have self-awareness, it's called balance. It's called balance. And there's nothing attractive about females being under a same unit fighting each other, disrespecting each other for no reason, for no reason. Make it make sense. Who wants to be hobbling a pod? What the fuck? Are you serious? Yo, oh, no, that ain't cute. That ain't nothing cute about
about that. Ain't nothing cute about running something and you ain't speaking volume. You ain't speaking life into somebody. You ain't trying to save somebody's life. All you want to talk about is negative stuff? Make it make sense, ma'am, sir. It's nothing attractive about you. That is not cute. And it just goes to show, at the end of the day, who you really shaking with. No disrespect. You don't got self-awareness. You can scream it all day long. You can say you love yourself all day long. You're not going to jail for your freedom. You going to jail because you just hurt your neighbor. For no reason. Either you just hurt your neighbor, right? Only to be talking right back to them. Hello? Like, make it make sense, ma'am, sir. So, you wanted points for going to jail? To brag about it? To say what block you was on? Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Ain't nothing cute about that. That is not attractive. Ain't nobody was bringing no malicious intentions and harm towards your family or you. You just was playing kid games. That's what you was doing. That's all you was doing was out here playing kid games. Make it make sense, ma'am, sir. No disrespect. But what is so attractive about going to jail. Respectfully. And it's not for your freedom. That may go over a lot of people's heads. And that's okay. You're going to jail for hurting your neighbor only to be talking right back to them. It's nothing attractive about going to jail. Nothing. Nothing. It's not attractive at all. It's not cute. And the way society is set up, you know, like, you can't be in certain areas and be under somebody's roof with certain things under your background. Right? And then in, in like, oh gosh. Thank you. <laughs> wow. You commit these crimes now. Now you can't be in certain environments. Like if you wanted to go to your, your family homes or something like that and they live in a certain environment, you can't even be in that environment. Because you have certain things under your background. Because you put them there. And now you're mad at the world. Because you can't be in a certain environment. But you causing all of this stuff on your own. No disrespect. Going back and forth with the enemy. Just like you out your thought process. To allow you to believe that this is okay. It's not okay. No disrespect. It's not okay. It's not okay to hurt your neighbor. Especially when you both don't have malicious intentions towards each other. Like, to bring really real life harm towards each other. Like, it was never that serious from the beginning with. It was petty. It was petty. It was petty. He rolled over my shoe with his bike. So I did what I did. She used my hot comb and my curling iron. Now I can't find it. And she said she ain't got it. So I had to put, put hands on her. All that could have been resolved. Don't let nobody use your stuff. 
Stop being nice. If you knew better, you would have knew to already remove these people out of your lives. Because all they do is, they have baggage with them. And the people, have, majority of the time, not all the time though, because some people who have baggage, they can respect people. But you got them dysfunctional motherfuckers who have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of baggage who, who, who just would never comprehend. Who it would never make sense in a book. Even if you try to draw a picture for them, they still would never, never understand common sense. They still would never understand common sense. Common sense. You understand common sense. They don't. That's the difference. You understand common sense. Every reaction don't need a reaction. Respectfully. It don't. But you're going back and forth with somebody at the end of the day. And it's not benefiting you at the end of the day. It's real like not benefiting you. Or to keep going on and on about something that's pointless. It's not bringing value to your life. It's actually making you sick. Respectfully. And I say that Respectfully. Because you're going back and forth with the enemy. When you know, you know. Respectfully. To psych you out of your thought process. To psych you out of your freedom. To psych you out of your thought process. For you allowing you not to see at the end of the day. What your self-worth is worth. To understand what your self Awareness needs to be available at all times. It's stopping you. All because you allowed that situation to transpire. All because you entertained somebody. All because you picked up the phone. Had nothing to do with you at the end of the day. And then now you sitting there saying, damn, wrong place at the wrong time. What the fuck? the fuck? And you sitting there reevaluating yourself now saying, what the fuck, right? And guess what? Now you really reevaluating yourself. Because you ain't got no support. You don't got no support. And you know you ain't got no support. Who want to be calling somebody at the end of the day? Help, like, keep calling them and they really don't want to be bothered at the end of the day. Don't that shit will piss you off? Because you know how you are if you was to show up for people at the end of the day? Like, make it make sense at the end of the day. You know who you are. Respectfully. They not showing up for you. Make it make sense. Even if they do show up at the end of the day. Why would you want to keep going in and out of a system? In and out of a system. Why? Wow. Why would you want to keep coming in and out of a system for? It's germs. You get sick. It's not safe. For nobody. For nobody. For nobody. It's not safe. Regardless to what culture you are, your sexual orientation, your disability, you're elderly or not. As long as you don't got malicious intentions to bring harm to somebody in your yourself at the end of the day, your life matters. Or you ain't have no malicious intentions, like malicious intentions, some next next level, next level stuff, some off the wall stuff or whatever. We ain't gotta go too deep in that. But you know what I'm talking about. If it's something so petty at the end of the day, like it ain't that serious. Something so petty, you taking somebody's, come on, yo. You taking somebody's life, or something so petty. Taking somebody's, you go, go, go take somebody's girl, now you gotta go, now you gotta go get some. <laughs> yo, what are you doing? You look stupid. You look stupid. Like, you, you don't understand how stupid you look. No, for real, for real. Over a female? <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. And at the end of the day, 9 out of 10, she's not even rocking with you. She don't even care about you. Because at the end of the day, why would she even be entertaining somebody else? Hello, ma'am, sir? Because you in your feelings? <laughs> nah, 
no, 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 no. You need to go get some healing. That's what you need to do. Some self-healing. Yeah, some self-healing. Fuck that loving on somebody, somebody else. Some self-loving. That's what you need. Self-loving. That's all you need. Some self-loving and some self-healing. Respectfully, just you. For yourself. Understand yourself. Learn yourself. Reevaluate your thought process respectfully because what? Ain't nothing cute about that. No, I don't know who the hell told y'all that she was cute. Hey, what's wrong with y'all? Oh hell no. Who told y'all that was cute? Who told y'all that? Like for real, for real. Like make it make sense at the day. Who told y'all that was cute? See, picking up weapons at the end of the day ain't gonna hit an innocent person. Regardless if it was a relationship or not. They ain't trying to bring harm to you or your family at the end of the day. Ma'am, sir. Make it make sense at the end of the day. You're psyching yourself out of your own freedom. Hello? You psyching yourself out of your own freedom. Just psych yourself out your own thought process. Because you allow that to happen. It's okay to think. It's okay to think. You ain't gotta allow, don't never allow nobody to egg you on. Hey, nothing but the enemy. Nothing but the enemy egging you on. Go do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! That's the enemy. Especially when it's negative like that. Nah. Your, 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 your peoples ain't, your real peoples ain't telling you to do no shit like that. Your mans and them, <laughs> they're not telling you to do all that. Respectfully. They want you to be safe at all times. They want you to be at home with your family at the end of the day. They don't want you in the street. They don't want you locked up over no female. Respectfully. Over a female. Now you sitting behind bars. Reevaluating your thought process every single day. You ain't happy with yourself. All them hours you gotta spend in a cell? All them hours you gotta spend in a cell? You thinking about a whole lot. You thinking about a whole lot. You thinking about shit that you try to forget that you never wanted to ever come to the surface and relive. That's how deep it's gonna get. Or, you might even go to La La Land and psych your own self out your thought process and spook yourself out. Hmm. With your own thought process. Because of the situation. That you put yourself there. Respectfully. Stop the gun violence. Stop the gun violence. And females. Like, make it make sense, ladies. And this is for the men too, respectfully. Y'all be lining people up and all that. Like, chill, like y'all doing too much. Respectfully. It don't make, make it make sense at the end of the day. Until it's your turn, that's when you understand the situation. Why you gotta wait until your turn for somebody to pay you back to understand what the fuck you done did at the end of the day? And now, you psych your own self out of your thought process, let alone your freedom. Because you wanted to play games. You know, not everybody's playing games. Not everybody's playing games, respectfully. And then you want to play victim. You want to play victim. You come across somebody or whatever the case may be, right? Go to do a jux or whatever the case may be. Whatever y'all want to call it, you heard? Whatever y'all want to call it. In the process of you doing what you're doing, the person you woke up on didn't know who you was walking up on. They psyched you out of your thought process because you thought you was going to get away with something at the end of the day. Ma'am, sir. You will reevaluate your thought process real quick. Because it happened so fast. You met your match today. That was crazy, right? 
That shit was wild crazy. You can't beat everybody. Not only you cannot beat everybody, but everybody's not on that type of timing. Like innocent people. Innocent people who stand for something. Respect. Innocent people who stand for something. And that's respect. It's respect at the end of the day. Respect goes a long way. Nah, that ass. Respect goes a long way. Respectfully. But make it make sense at the end of the day. Why allow yourself to get into a situation, right? You call yourself doing something. And you get hurt in the process of doing something. Where you should have been at home with your children. Or doing something productive. Figuring out your life in a healthy way. Understanding at the end of the day. How long you gonna be doing this shit for? So you mean to tell me. When you 80 years old. You gonna be out here robbing people still? <laughs> Hello. People in the back wanna hear this shit. Hello. We waiting. Yeah. We waiting. <laughs> you mean to tell me. Y'all still gonna be out here doing jokes. At 60, 50 years old and all that? Oh, or, right, in the process of you doing this, you know, the way society is set up at the end of the day, you might as well just turn yourself into the, the, the precinct, respectfully. Because everything that y'all do, it's just, it just doesn't make no sense. You know what you do, you might as well just turn yourself in, respectfully. After you do the crime, just turn yourself in. It makes more sense to do that. And I say that respectfully. After you finish doing your crime, just go into the precinct. Because y'all are so weird. Like y'all getting more weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. Leave innocent people alone. Make it make sense. Or, I don't understand this. The same people who do these jokes and shit like that, right? Male, female, right? Until somebody hurt your family, that's when y'all understand this shit. Now y'all want revenge. How do you think the last person that you just did a jokes on at the end of the day, how the fuck do you think they, fam they family members felt? How do you think they felt? Make it make sense at the end of the day. You're being one-sided now. Now you want to retaliate. What you retaliating for? How do you think these people felt about you? They wanted to retaliate on your ass. Ma'am, sir, no disrespect. But make it make sense at the end of the day. Ma'am, sir, no disrespect. Your freedom matters. Your freedom matters. Respectfully, it does. It does. You are smart. You are smart. Like, you are smart. You smart. Like, you really smart. You got gifts in you, and you know that you got gifts in you that nobody knows about. That's how smart you are. That's how smart you are. You are so smart and talented. You are genius. You are unique. But you only blocking your own blessing. For yourself to show up in a healthy way. You the only one blocking your own blessing. Respectfully, no disrespect. Stop the violence, stop the violence, stop the violence. It's okay to respect your neighbor in a healthy way with no malicious intentions. It's okay to respect your neighbor. Stop the violence, stop the violence. Your life matters. Protect your energy. At the end of the day, you got your forgiveness already. When your healing process starts when you generally show up for yourself, never forget, it will never be an overnight process. It will never be an overnight process. You are already forgiven for whatever you did. You're forgiven. 
Show up for yourself. Show up for yourself in a healthy way. You'll be so amazed at yourself. You'll be so proud of yourself in ways that you never even knew how. You can identify, like, this is how this feels? Like, wow, this is amazing, this is great, like, I like this. I was feeling the other way, like, I don't even know why I was feeling like that for. That's, that, that, that. <laughs> Yeah. You already forgiven. You are. Like I said, this page is not for everybody. And I say that respectfully. This page is not for everybody. It's not. This page is not for everybody. And that's okay. It's not a crime. But this page is not for everybody. All right? I, I'm, I'm gonna just say it one more time. This page is not for everybody. So do me a favor, the people in the back, save your negative comments for your mama, respectfully. Hello. <laughs> love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself. <laughs> Have a safe remaining week. Protect your energy, protect your energy. You matter. You do. You do, you do, you do. Protect your energy. Watch the company you keep. Not everybody's deserving of your time. Not everybody's deserving of your time. It's okay, it's not a crime. It's, it's okay. Sometimes in life we outgrow people. And sometimes in life we had people around us too longer. Too longer than we were supposed to have them around. You know, and sometimes in life it's okay to say, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> love yourself, 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 love yourself. Night and you love respect. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Never allow someone to psych you of your thought process because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way. Because they're miserable. Never allow someone to psych you of your freedom. Because you love yourself in a healthy way. Because they're miserable. <laughs> it never allows someone to psyche up your thought process. Because you genuinely love yourself in a healthy way. <laughs> because they're miserable. Only a hate in disguise. <laughs> With the mask off. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Over there. <laughs> will allow you to feel otherwise. But to acknowledge it. It's to entertain it. <laughs> and we good. Return back to Cinder with that negative energy. Respectfully. <laughs> devil, devil, we don't want you. Devil, devil, we don't want you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bitch! <laughs>